right, so I took this video idea from my comments of my last Zeldris showcase, and I thought it could be very fun. Zeldris has what I would like to call a uh, annoyance, which is the fact that he only wants to attack enemies who are debuffed because he gets extra damage against that. But on the demon team, you don't see that because the best character on the demon team, being Demon King Melee, doesn't have debuffs. So you do have to use Green Sauriel, which is a bad link. At the, like, at this point, it's a very outdated link, right? Or, you know, you just don't get that. Or, you know, if you get lucky, you have the AoE from Zaldra, which is great. But Assault Melee should cover those bases. I don't want to use attack food. Actually, do I want to go second? I'm going to try. If that goes bad, I'm just going to go... F I'm just going to put CC food. We're bringing Gelda because I also want to have some playtime with her. She's pretty good. We're also bringing uh, Nanashi. He should be pretty good here. He is not only giving stats to Gelda, which is what I m mainly want, but Assault Melee can possibly also get some... Uh, some juice out of those extras. So, first turn, we actually don't need those debuffs. Oh, I just go for Arthur. I think I just go for Arthur here. He doesn't have Tarmia Link. Zaldra should be hitting pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Listen, man. Listen. Uh, when, when you when you do everything he wants you to do, he can look so good. That's what pisses me off. <laughs> this character, is he on database yet? No, he's not. I've been uh, saying that he has design flaws. And I still stick by that. But I will say this, if you manage to get around all the design flaws, he looks very impressive. Alright, uh, how much do we heal from there? So how much is Gelda's up to? 195, we're at 731 KHP. Um, no Nanashi passive, unfortunately. Let's, uh, let's do a Gelda AoE. See, here's where I don't like Zeldris' passive. I don't want to move this card, but I, I will. Because I think this will kill her. Oh, Gelden. <laughs> yeah, the melee debuffs also work pretty good for her. Because, I mean, she doesn't necessarily want to crit. I don't think her crit damage is that high. I, I should check. But it doesn't hurt to get those crits in. You know? It, it definitely doesn't hurt. I'm going to check it right now, actually. Let's see. Yeah, her crit damage, oh, it's not the worst. Like, around 200? Okay. Let's finish this up. I, 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 I'll talk about this in the next match, but... Galda has interesting stats. Very interesting stats. I don't know if it is about Zaldris, but I'm sure all of you are going to be interested in also hearing about Galda because she just came out. She has a passive, right? Oh, a part of her passive. Let me bring up the translations here. So I'm not incorrect on the numbers. Which is that for 30% of her regen rate, she increases Demon Race Ally's basic stats up to 20%. Now the thing is, unless I... I want to check right now because I want to do this, but... Unless I'm incorrect and I, I saw it wrong, she actually doesn't even need gear for that. A lot of the times when you have a character... A lot of the times, when you have a character like this, where they say, oh, you need X stat, and then it caps at something. I think Melascula, like Green Melascula, she needs, you need to give her lifesteal gear. Or she won't give you the full boost. But Galda, unless I saw her stats wrong, she already has enough regenerate from base. See, this is exactly why I'm telling you, like, you... Mm, like, the Assault of Melee debuff actually allowed me to do 500k. If there was no debuff there, I wouldn't have hit as hard. Like, this is where the debuffs for Zelda is really come in, like, handy. Ain't no way. How? This guy is pretty much in the same team as me, but instead of, like, LR Zelda, he has Demon King Zelda. How? How am, I, how am I facing someone who's the Assault Melee? While I'm using Assault Melee, that's outrageous. Okay. 
Uh, we're not gonna move Zelda's card. Or are we? Hmm. I don't think I am. This is where I hate his passive. Like, you, you gotta move his card, because for one, you're contributing to his extra crit damage, he gets a buff of crit damage, and do we kill Galda? Can we kill Galda? I'm gonna try to kill Galda. Mm, we're not killing Galda. <laughs> we're not killing Galda. Uh... Mm. What I was talking, what I was saying is, uh, you get a buff of crit damage from his passive, then you get the the actual like stat buff from the passive of thirty percent, and then ow, my Gelda can bring it back though. Me thinks. No, I need to kill DK. Mm. You're two forty two. DK's damage cap probably won't allow me to kill him. Maybe I can kill Assault Melee. Ah, oh, that's not good damage. Okay. Go for DK, go for DK. Nice. His Galda can bring it back though. That's, that's a thing. <laughs> Galda's so dumb. That's the thing, like his Galda can actually just one-shot me. No, he's, he's not gonna one-shot my Galda, but it's gonna be just a, a battle of attrition between Galdas now. Okay, never mind. Zal just Zaldress! No! I'm ba dude, I, I don't want to play this. It's gonna be me and him attacking each other until we die from corrosion. Pretty much. Because, like, Gelda can't die. And my Gelda is, uh... There's not even a point of going for her ultimate. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna do that much to them, actually. Because mine is 1-6, so I can't even one-shot her. Okay, he he wins if his Gelda has more ult level. You know what? I have a full Nalashi hand. I'm just gonna back out. I, I don't want to play this. This is gonna take, like, 10 minutes. Okay, what I was talking about <laughs> is you move the card, right? And you get the crit damage buff, like the blue buff. Then you get the crit damage increase from his passive. And then you also have his relic, which buffs basic stats for allies, right? It's like there's a lot that you gain from moving a card. It's just bad. Like, moving a card is not good because it's just a waste of a turn. So I don't like the design. But... I'm still gonna do it because it's like you gain you gain so much so much from it. So much. You kind of have to. I think I'll kill Melly here from this increased crit damage. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe if I level two probably. But he full healed, so. Which is good for Gelder. Gelder has a lot of HP at this point, and she has an Asha passive, so I'm... I'm relaxed on her. If only I had Melly's cleanse right now. But, I mean, I, I can just cleanse Zeldris. I think I will. Maybe this. What if I do this? How much have you healed? Or have you got from the healing? 127. Zeldris should heal, like, another, like, uh, 90-200k? That was quite- I think it was more than 100k. No! I was expecting more. I was expecting to kill at least Bond. Mm. I guess he didn't have any- Mally at the very least, I, I see why she didn't hit as hard. You know, type disadvantage plus... Was that level 2 or level 3? She's... I know the video is about Zelda's, but like, dude, she's impressive. Like, <laughs> I'll keep moving card. Like, at this, how much? How many stacks do I have for his uh, relic? Five. It's maxed out. Oh yeah, lowering enemy alt gauge also counts for his relic. I still think that 
his set, his single target lowering ult gauge is bad design because you can kill with it because it's double crit damage, right? <clears throat> and if you kill with the card, you don't get the stack for the relic, right? But whatever. The funny moments we're having with Zaldras are enough for my my soul here. Uh, this should kill. Finally using Assault Melee, but I... Okay. He lost his crit chance. After his crit chance is gone, he, he's kind of a sitting duck. It's funny how I mentioned, like, Nanash is gonna be good for us here, because because of Melee as well, he's gonna get some uh, some juice out of the buffs, and I'm like, I'm like barely using Melee. Because, like, realistically... Yeah, yeah. He's not really all that, right? Do I... Do I want to replace Nanashi with Kusok to juice Zaldris? That extra crit damage could be very handy for him. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is going to be a very complicated match for us. We want to heal Zaldris. Our biggest asset is going to be her. I'll do an attack on Yuri as well with Melee. If it crits, it shouldn't hurt. It didn't crit. Would it have killed? Maybe. Maybe. We can kill her. If she didn't heal very much, we can kill with AoEs. Not these stinkers. I wanted Zaldra's AoE. Whatever. Thankfully, Zaldra's Commandment prevented Arthur from getting maxed. Because you couldn't move a card to get... Uh... It's like... Zaldra's Commandment being a thing, like, right after freaking uh, Arthur's release is such a slap on the face, it feels like. Okay. I think I want to kill her. I'm gonna ensure that she's dead. Zeldris. I know, I know you lost your buff because she removed it, but still. Uh, that's not nice, man. That's not epic, man. Zeldris. The thing is that buff removers aren't that common. But Yuri is one, so. Now we are still immune. Uh, she is at least still immune to Arthur's debuff. Like, Zal just might be in trouble here? Yeah. Ouchie, ouchie. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay. So, we won. We, it, he knew. Move Zaldra's card. That cleanses the debuff. Attack with Zaldra's. If he crits, heals a lot. Then AoE with her, it would have wiped. We got another DK. Gelda. I think this team is very good. This guy's level 95, but I think this team is very good. I'm not gonna lie. I used it for the Gelda. You are gear showcase? It felt pretty good. I think the... I think on gear, it's better. When she already has so much uh, HP increase, I think it's much better. I think... I don't want to move card. Oh, you know? I just realized. Going second for Zelda is actually really bad. His crit chance buff is at start of battle. Oh, are you kidding me? Not start of turn. Which means that when our turn starts, he already loses a turn from his crit chance. Uh, I guess... I mean, the video's not gonna go for that much longer. It's already 14 minutes in, but I should start going first. I like going second with Melly though, because of the debuffs. Yeah, good, good, good try. Oh, that might actually kill. God, that's so good! Yeah, we already don't have it anymore. They have buffs, so our uh, Melly should maybe hit hard here. Geld is gonna annihilate, and then whoever survives, she does this too. Okay, that, 
<laughs> that was awful. <laughs> I was expecting more damage out of him. Galda would have healed more. As well. Mm. We are in a terrible position. <laughs> DK got the rank up. We might just lose here. Yeah, going second of Zaldus is not it. Zaldus! He, he doesn't tank. Thank God. No. I'm not expecting him to tank that. Like, I'm not expecting anybody to tank that. <laughs> to be honest. But when they do, when characters tank that, that's when you know. She has a revive, right? Alright, that's fine. Mel, it's your time to shine. Because I have zero Galda cards. How about this, actually? Yeah. Level 2, first. Does he have his own buffs? No, right? <laughs> he didn't have it. If he had them, he would have killed. Give me a Galda card, please! Oh my god. <sighs> you know what? That, that's it for me. <laughs> but this is this is good. This is good. I'm gonna lose this for card RNG, but this is good. Like if I had a Galda card last turn, DK was dead. I swear to God, if I only get an Asha cards, I dude. You're not killing her. Well, DK at least is dead. It's just Galda is gonna be alive forever. That's the thing. It's like... She, she, she's one of those characters that is gonna make the game unfun. Because she's just so tanky. If you don't kill her in the beginning of the match, she has 50% damage reduction for the rest of the match. It's way too much. I saw his Liz gave damage reduction. So... Oh, he has stun as well. Okay, um, that's it for me. This is not- I have her 1-6. I need to 6-6 six, six her. Next week is gonna be 6-6ing six, six her. I want you to get a Zaljus video out first today. But, this was good. I liked- I liked the video. I liked my time recording this video.